Okay, we are live with Zelda. We're doing the HD remake of Skyward Sword. <laughs> Finally, and found time to do this. Here we go. Ignore my names. Here we go. Woo! So excited. I played this once before. Oh, I like one a little bit. Anyway. <laughs> Played this once before a while ago when I first came out. This tale of you humans have passed down through uncounted generations. It starts off with a title, don't even get a title screen, it starts off with a title sequence. It tells of a war of unmatched scale and ferocity. Uh, and the likes of which would never be seen again. I played this a long time ago. One dark, painful day, leveling forces rushing. quite enough, probably just mine too much. Okay. <clears throat> but I can turn desktop audio down a little bit, because that's gonna be loud. Yeah. Or maybe just cut this down entirely. There we go. Bring that up. I think that'll work. I think that's pretty good. Don't really know how to do a sound test, nor do I want to, and I think that's gonna be good. Really quiet otherwise. Handed down by the gods of old, this power gave its holder the means to make any desire a reality. Scary. Awesome. Power. Such was the might of the ultimate power that the old ones placed it in the care of the goddess. To prevent this great power from falling into the hands of evil swarming lands. Dot dot dot. The goddess gathered the surviving humans on an outcropping of Earth. She sent it skyward, beyond the reach of the demonic hordes, beyond even the clouds. I keep looking over there, I keep checking my mic, I'd like to see my camera. Who's looking at it? I guess I can get rid of this, I think I can get rid of this, and it makes it better. Got a little bit of full screen going on. With the humans safe, the goddess joined forces with the... At last, peace was restored to the surface. You guys, look, I got my little Link, Link, oh, Link's Awakening figurine and the Majora's mask over here. This is the tale of you humans have told for many ages, generation to generation. Did it say humans? But there are other legends long hidden away from memory that are in intertwined with this tale. So I've played this long ago. I keep saying that. I'll, I'll tell him after. I'll tell you after this, I guess. Now a new legend bound to this great story stands ready to be revealed. A legend that will be forged by your own hand. Motion controls. <laughs> ah, so excited. I haven't played this in years. I was wanting to play this one again, but I didn't have access to my Switch. The other one's Twilight Princess. I want to play that one again, too. Ocarina of Time, I can do emulator, but that's right. Cool. We got here now. Creating save data. Save data for Legend of Zelda has been created. Sweet deal. Okay. Oh, there's a delay. Yay. Point the Joy-Con at the screen, and press Y. Oh, oh, oh shit. That's gonna be an issue. What the heck? Oh, I see. <laughs> Let me see if I can do that. Okay, so I do that. There we go. I see, I see, I see. This is kind of cool. I want to point down there, so maybe that's going to be good. So we got a new adventure. I think this is going to be okay. We type Link. Of course, we have to name him Link. I'm not one of those guys that's like, oh, my name's S, so we're just going to call him S. No, you can't do that. You got to you gotta go with Link. Link Link is the hero of this game. That little cinematography thing. Going on. There's the mice. I remember the details. So I remember a lot of, point, a lot of the... the the stuff of this game, I don't remember if I remember all the puzzles, but I remember this, the overall story. So 
so like I was saying, I, I got it, so uh, I don't think I skipped. Um, I played this game when it came out for the Wii, and I went through the entire game. Uh, I was about to do Master Mode, but then, you know, Fee, Fi, Fee, Fi, Fo, Fum, is, she got too annoying for me, so I, and the tutorial again, I just couldn't do it, so I never beat it on Master Mode, but I think the only way to do Master Mode is if you complete the game once, so to do Master Mode, I'm gonna have to do the whole thing again. <sighs> Which is fine, but I haven't played this game in a while, so should be good. Should be good. Lovely. I'm super excited, so I don't, I don't need to do this. Switch that. The red Loftwing's mine, because light, red and green go well together. And it's almost like technically pink and yellow, and pink and yellow and purple go well together. Purple, blue. Indigo. This place is called Skyloft. Yeah. And there's Zelda. This game was really cool. It had all the hype of like the 25th anniversary stuff. Feed these things paper, apparently. Um. Yeah, so the hype was huge. I remember like being so excited playing this game, and then it was kind of a letdown overall. Like Skyward Sword, I don't like the exploration on the bottom. It almost felt like Mario World, like Super Mario World, where you just kind of choose the level you want to go to rather than like open exploration. Breath of the Wild really scratched that itch with the open exploration. That was really cool. Um, I think a lot of people thought this game was going to be Breath of the Wild. So, well, what can you do? Rise, Link, the time has come for you to awaken. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken. Link. It always starts with Link sleeping. Twilight Princess did that, I think. This game did that. Ocarina of Time did that. Majora's Mask did it and he was, he was a busy boy, but that's technically part two. Technically part two. Breath of the Wild, he's technically sleeping. Um, Link to the past, he was sleeping. Link's Awakening, he was sleeping. Zelda 2, Zelda's sleeping. <laughs> Never really realized that, everyone's kind of sleeping. I guess that's, I saw that in a video recently, I guess that's a normal thing. Link Between World. Wind Waker. How does Wind Waker start? Oh yeah, he's sleeping. His, what, his sister comes and wakes him up, that's right. Hey, Sleepyhead, I know how much you like to sleep, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did you guess right? Highs and shine, Link. Today's a right wing ceremony. You promise to meet me before it starts. Remember, you'd better not keep me waiting, Zelda. Oh, this game's so pretty. <laughs> I like the art style. They did a good job with Breath of the Wild, but, like, this was certainly a step up. This is cool. Oh, I need to invert that. That's not, that's not good. I'm not too... Huh. Use control mode, motion controls... Invert vertical. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. To those of you that are saying, what are you doing? You're inverting. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. Five rupees. Cool. I heard this is like a lot of steps up from the original. Okay. Can go back to bed. Okay, you got five rupees in the thing. I guess that's it. I'm gonna play this not like through a speedrun or anything. I'm just gonna play this casually. I just want to see how far I go. I'll break this up into segments too if necessary. Yeah. Morning, Link. Today is the wing ceremony. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Mm. I'm not gonna read everything. If you guys want a full playthrough, I'm sure there's plenty of other videos gonna be around for that. Um, I'm just gonna <laughs> try to figure out how to get the heck out of here. Um, that's not how you get out of here. I remember this guy. This is the one from Majora's Mask. The guy looking for toilet paper. Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, make your calls. <laughs> Come on, Link. Let's go kill stuff and then, eh, bathroom. This looks promising. I don't remember much of this game. It's been years since I played the original, so this is gonna be a little bit of rediscovery or a lot of rediscovery. I remember the statues there are useful. I'll play this a bit, take a break, play more, break it up into segments. I'm hoping I can get to the get down to the, the land area today. Maybe even kill the mice. I don't know. I'm going to play for like a couple hours, I guess. Hey! Hey, Link up here, and then you jump on the boxes. No! 
Oh. Got a target. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. This is why I need tutorial stuff. <laughs> Oh my god, am I this? I'm, I'm bad at this game, guys. This is... Oh, this is sad. There we go. Okay. A little bit different from Breath of the Wild. We've been playing that a little bit recently. So what are you up to? Rushing to get some last-minute bird riding practice this morning. Link. Probably. Look. Listen. I have to get the cat. I'm on it. Ooh. Right, and then you can come up here. Okay, I see this. I wonder if there's another way to shimmy over. I'm afraid to press buttons, I don't want to fall. But I can shimmy here, I guess. Nah, I just don't let go. Um, you just run across this, right? Yep. Oh, um, and you can do that to get up, I guess. You push this thing. How'd the cat get up there? This still feels better. The, everyone was complaining about controls and stuff. Oops. Gotta get the kitty. There we go. Uh, everyone's control complaining about the motion controls and how it's kind of okay. This is actually pretty good. I don't mind this at all. I'm not sure I can run this way. It's gonna, I think, A is to sprint. Maybe not. I don't know. I probably could run with the cat. I miss picking up animals. I miss the... the Zelda Twilight Princess was supposed to be all about animals. You turn into a wolf, you work with monkeys and stuff, but it was really minimal. Like, the, the monkeys were at the very beginning. Alright, you get stamina. Um, so you can run across <laughs> Yeah, Maybe this is too long if you need to get a stamina thing. Uh, but Twilight Princess only had a couple animals overall. They didn't really use the animal aspect that much. You call the, the bird a couple times. You use other whistles like once or twice. A pwn is in it kind of, but like, not a big deal. The animal aspect was really played down. I thought it was going to be a lot more than that. Midna was cool though, don't get me wrong. I love Twilight Princess. Midna's the coolest sidekick. Navi has a special place in all of it. Like, Midna's where it's at. Oh, youth. I don't know if I can skip this. this way. There's a way. Oh, you can. But I don't, I don't want to skip movie scenes, I guess. O oh, youth guided by servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky, bring a light to the land. To the land, I think. Hey, good morning, Link. This is also one of the first games you see Zelda so early and interact with her, rather than she's like some unreachable person. I'm glad to see my loft wing got you out of bed. I'm pretty sure you'd sleep in. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> but look at this instrument and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony, since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's like the one the goddess it was to have in legend. It sounds gorgeous too. I asked father about it and he said it's called a harp. <laughs> <laughs> and look at these clothes. I made this wrap myself and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. I got uh, you up early this morning, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So how do I look? Uh, great. Great, dude. I can't. You gotta... Okay, fine. Great. Ha, I think so too, but it's nice that you agree. Thanks, Link. Oh, she's such a sweetie pie. And there you are, there you are, Zelda. This is game four. And are you all ready? Are you all, are you all prepared? Hello, hello, father. Oh, uh, Link, you're here too, outstanding. This guy looks like... Ow. Uh, it's encouraging to see you up so early. Um, well, I'm gonna skip a little bit. Today, ceremony race, you'll participate in the post-race with Zelda. Yes, about that. You get to race loft wings with the, the jerk that locks your loft wing away. And even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just lazily guiding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's going to have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. I really want to skip this, but no. Today's wing ceremony test the skill of the rider. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm going to skip, guys. Okay, yeah. We have to go find the loft wing. Link, I'm going to tend to my bird. Make sure he's not here. I'll get up with you later. Go and see if anyone in town knows what happened to your loftwing. Yeah, so your loftwing is missing. You have to go find it. Not a big deal. 
Turns out, what is his name? Goose? Goose? I think I'm thinking of the guy from Pilot Wings. So you pick this up, so then you get the stamina again. This guy's having trouble opening the door here. Something wrong, your loftwing is missing. Where's Groose? Oh, Groose and his little cronies thing, they were saying that we're going to serve my plaza. Are you still trying to get to the south end? That might have, like, okay. Yeah. Didn't plan it for too long. So my guess is they might be at a plaza normally, but this gate needs some work before it'll look. Can you go around and through the academy member to check them out with minus if you could? Oh, how do I do this? There's that. That one? That one. I think I could save here. Not really. I haven't really done that much, but you know. Why not? Let's go with a new adventure. Yes, please. I don't really like the motion control on that. I kind of want the button. I wonder. I probably should change it. I'll probably change it eventually. This, the motion control. When I get a silver and all, I'll see. So far, it's okay. Dash and roll. Oh, shake the left one. My color codes are wrong. I'm using the. Oops. I'm using the, bl the black controller, so. There we go. Whoa! We got a stag beetle. I want those rupees. Thank you very much. Thank you about beetle. I'll do beetle collecting at a later date. Um, those are hearts. That's cool. This is also one of the few games you start with six hearts, which is a little strange. You never really get the maximum, I think, if I remember correctly. You get, like, badges you can wear that give you, like, two more hearts at the end. It's really strange. I'm skipping. They say, I don't know where your, your bird is. I map marked again. Nah, but I think I know where to go. It's been a while, guys. I'm not too sure. But this looks promising now that I come here and the bridge is blocked. You just block everyone's day. Can't swim across either because Link doesn't know how to swim. Can't paraglide over because we don't have a paraglider. Let's talk to this little girl. I'm gonna go play with my special friend today, it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> oh, this looks promising. What's up, Link? You seem to be in a hurry. What's uh, about this about your bird or that unusual crimson lost being? I'm just sorry, I haven't. Why don't you look for him by the statue of the goddess? You'll have a good view of the whole town. Isn't that where I came from? I think that gate's open. This is just a lot of running back and forth to make sure you know how to run. Oh, I can make gates open. Alright, you can't jump in this one. Hey! Oh, this looks good. Over here! I have some information about your lock I'm over here. Okay. It's another safe bird. Just jump down here. Man. I remember this, that was like, if you need to have a stamina wheel in your game, you probably have your stuff too far apart. And like, I was just looking for you. I heard your lock wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join the search and get this. When I asked the Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. Mm. I'm so sorry, Ling. I wanted to tell you, but if Bruce found out I told you, it sounds like Bruce forced to be quiet. Go on, tell him the truth. Mm. Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the hall, Bruce and his buddies came and they didn't notice I was there, and so I was talking about the plane behind your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, Link, but that just doesn't start to sneak away. Bruce and his gang grabbed me, and they said if I told you, they'd make sure I'd never ride a bird again ever again. Sounds like Bruce and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean quick. Let's look at the map. We go right back to where we came from, right? Uh. Well, I'll turn around now. Could have sworn that was the exit. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, it's over. Oh. One more thing, Link. Mm -hmm. If you're going to the waterfall, remember that there are some dangerous, dangerous things there. You probably think so. Be very sword. I think I saw the night commander go into the spying hall a while ago. You should go ask him if you can borrow one. Okay. I'm in a different part of the outside. <laughs> oh, we get to the motion controls room. Oh. Hey, it's Link. Wait, what? Oh. Sorry, the background. Oh. This is how you open doors. In case you didn't understand how to do that the first time you came in. Oh, yes. Skip this. I got a sword! You gotta practice swords since at the Night Academy game. Okay. Oh, 
here. Okay, we have to talk to him. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, yeah, let's please. Ooh. Oh, right, I think it's just... Right, I think it... Yeah, there we go. It's actually usually the swing. That's not too bad. That's okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do this one. He's got hurt. Oh, this is just practice. How do you flip? Whoa, okay. That's a new move. Okay. This is similar to the Wii, this isn't too bad. Yeah. And then here you just jab. Yeah. That's not too bad. You really are a strong swordsman, easy to teach you, you make this a striker player. Oh, I wonder, okay. I'm sorry, as long as you spin attack, cut them up in that spot. I think spin attack is just. Yeah, just that. It's super easy. Uh, fatal blow, sure. That's not too bad. This is very similar to the, um... Huh? Oh. Okay. He's like, make sure you practice, and then when you finish getting your loft wing, put it back. But then, stuff's gonna go down, and you need a sword, so you just take it. Link, Link is a thief. He breaks into people's houses and steals stuff. However, that's okay. It's okay to be a thief if the world wants you to be a thief. Okay, so, and the market's in there. The market's actually pretty cool. I don't think I can catch these. I think I need to get up a net or something for these. Or do it all on that other island or something. I forget. It's been a long time. I'm surprised I remember this much about this game. Now, we go get the loft win. What was I going to say otherwise? Yeah, the motion controls aren't too bad. Um, I think I still have to get past these guys, though. The waterfall is over there. Did you hear the news? They're just Ooh. gossiping. Yeah, gossip, gossip, gossip. They gossip more than gossip stones. <laughs> hmm. So the waterfall's over there. Okay, I think I have to cross there. Cross over now. Jump, 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 jump. Let's see what this guy's doing. Look at this thing. Who knows how long this actually has been here? Poor thing, you probably know about this, but you can press to. Oh. Oh, then you can do this. Yeah, okay. Well, that's cool. Yeah, okay. Oh! That looks promising. I know! You gotta cut it down with the sword. That's why you need the sword. Yeah, scary stuff. Great. Oh! I hear a bird. Okay. Cutter. Cutter. Waterfall Cave. What a good name. Money, money. Money. Oop, gotta tell me what a one rupee is. Oh, it goes so much better, though. Remember, that was one of the worst parts. Of this. One of the worst parts about this before was the fact that it would tell you every single time you pick up a rupee every time you reload your game. Yep, this is still money. Yep, hasn't changed. It's still money. <laughs> Where's my bow? I'm not used to bats. The, I'm sorry, the keys. I'm not used to the keys requiring two hits. And the jellies. Oh, this game's cool, though. Do I have to run? Yeah, okay. I wonder if anyone ever gets stuck there. Like, oh, I need to go get a block or something. <laughs> Oh, need a heart. This game's dangerous. Oh, there's something over there. Okay. Yeah, motion controls aren't too too bad. I think this is better than the Wii. It's been, like I said, ages since I played the Wii, but I think it's better. You can jump up like that, that's cool. Oop, little chest. Give me my five gold. Five GP. Five rupees. Ooh. Alright. Oh, there we go. That's, that's the medicine I need. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, like, I'm a little out of practice, but this isn't too, too bad. I kind of want to try the other one. Oh, well, this is fine. This is also pretty loud, I think, with the sounds. Let me turn the sound. Put the volume down a smidge. Can you run this? Oh, I think you can run. Well, no. I was going to say you could move better than Link in Breath of the Wild, but that boy can climb anything. I just picked up some. You can't pick those up, I think. Yeah, I think I can do this, though. Oh, crap. Hey, crouch. I like that. Okay. Whatever. I got my hand. Okay. Look at my rupee. Rupee. Yeah, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Nothing through it, but just light. It's blinding. My my homeboy's in trouble, but I gotta save first. I don't think getting to the ground is that difficult. Slash takes that long. I don't know how long it takes. Link! I found your bird! Thanks for the ride there, Zelda. Hey Link, I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you gone searching the law. How's your search going? Did you find your bird yet? No, you're talking to me, woman. You're in you're 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 in the way. I gotta go. Great. I'm gonna go over this way. Did you find your bird? Almost! I swear, if she comes up, oh my god. Look, there he- I found him on my own, man! Ugh. Look, that's your loft wing. You mean the red thing there? Or are you talking about the barrel? Because I think the barrel is what you mean. There's your loft wing. Are you kidding me? This thing? The thing that's locked behind the gate that I saw three times there already. No way. I named him Fido. We're gonna call him Epona. Lofty the Loftwing. We're gonna call him Loftwing the Loftwing. Original names. <laughs> Goodbye. You're gonna make me walk through that cave again, huh? I like how there's a cave at the end of this thing that is... Like, there's a dock here for it, too. Four, that's Loftwing size. Uh, but before you go, I have to ask you something. Did I hear a voice a few moments ago? Did you hear it too? Mm hmm It's been happening a lot lately. We're skipping. Wait, what? Oh, you have to call it. You jumped off. Okay. You have to call the bird. You have to call the Loftwing. And get it. Otherwise, you die. And you have to flap. I remember this. I remember doing this with the Wiimote. You gotta flap. And you can do a dive. And you can flap and flap. Link, run your bird through the basics just to make sure he's not hurt. Yeah, this is also training. Uh, hit in. Okay. You can fly your bird in any direction. What's it? When it's headed up, where it'll slowly lose speed. I like the altitude meter. When you want to speed up, so direct your bird upward in altitude and drop it faster. Like, this is cool and all, but riding horses in Breath of the Wild, or even opponent in, in... Oh, I think I see what it's in. It's keeping me in a certain area. So the steer goes that way and that way. Descend. And then go face down into a nosedive. Yeah, as fun as this is, I still think horse riding is better. Uh, and the fact that you can get your own horses in Breath of the Wild is kind of sick. While riding your loft wing, you can press uh, blah 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 at any time to go over the base. Right. Mm -hmm. Or go through the thing. You can also charge, which is an, an attack that gives you burst of speed to slow down. I don't think I can get over there. I think it's gonna yell at me. Yeah, I can't get that word. We need to try to feel okay. Charge, charge. Alright, oh, you can do that. You're all about that. Slow down. Like, the, the fly, in the flying, there's not much to do, so you can, like, fly to a couple of different islands. It's not too interesting. Oh, 
Well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Link, but your Lockwing looks like he's playing great. My father and the others are probably going to Okay. I think you gotta do a race, and then, like, another event happens, and something happens, and then Fi, and then... You get their sword, and then you fall down. I think that's it. Only a few more bits. We're probably about halfway there. It's going okay. No! Well, well, if it isn't Link. How long have I been doing this for? Huh. I thought I had a timer on this. Maybe I'm here. Yeah, 53. Okay. Lord around the plazas, you found the dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great. <laughs> what about you? An hour ago. <laughs> founder, founder, founder. I hate to break it to you, but I'm gonna kick your butt. It's all the mine. <laughs> what? You guys are mocking me. Oh, oh my god, it's Zelda. You've been hearing rumors about me. What? I wouldn't say that. Yang and Groose is a little strange here. Gauntlet and these guys. These guys are. Eh. I think it's cute, I guess. I know you've been with the dude down. I don't. I think you do too. Um. Yeah, sure. That's the spirit link. Trust me, you can win this. Sure, whatever. The wing ceremony can now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Link. Their population is so small. What are the chances they have, like, what, four or five people all around the same age? In the same grade, graduating class? Where do we get the smoke from? Blue, red, and green. Go figure. I like this game a lot because it doesn't have Ganon. Every other Zelda game is like Ganon, 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 and you think Ganon's the big guy. No, this one shows you where Ganon came from. What's bigger than Ganon? Ganon's grandpa. Ganon is just a puppet in the in the grand scheme of things. I'm glad you could all make it before we start. I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who will then release it to the sky. Did we ever see the yellow one again? Um, you hear? Nope. Okay. Excellent. I don't know if it's possible to lose this race. Because I think it would ruin the story. But, whatever. Oh. Oh, come on, Link. Are you... Oh, my God. Like, I'm the only one that did that. This is just sad. Meanwhile... Yep. Yeah, that's really sad. Probably did that the first time, too. Okay, anyway, we're off to the races here. Can you flap this one? Oh, it's only the right one. This is really hard to control. Either that or I'm working with a delay here between. That's probably it. <laughs> Flap! I'm hitting the thing. I feel like I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing. Okay, huh. Not in camera anymore. Oh, I can dash. Oh, I had it. Hold on. Over there. Yeah, I wonder if you just keep flying around until you get it. That's the whole point. <laughs> Going and cutting it off the short way. Nope. I also remember the windfish part was really cool in this because I'm a big fan of it.
Oh, man. We might be here for a long days. Or not! Okay. Go, Link, go! Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? Yeah, right. Have you, have you seen this game? Does he hit me, really? Yeah, I gotta try that again. Yeah, you hurt him. Let's see how you fly with him on your face. Yeah. I need to make it harder. Oh, you gotta really crank the controller with the left. Got it. I think you have to get two or three times. Oh, that's it. You got the bird statue. Right. Statue it. Proves your victory today. Wait till Zelda sees this. <laughs> da, 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 da. Link. Ring here. Link. Don't worry, I'll catch you. Imagine if you don't and she dies, and that's the that's the game. And the credits. Zelda's dead. Good job, guys. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fine. Not yet, not for long. Great flying link, congratulations. I get a kiss? Excuse me, princess. Now we better go on with the ceremony. Okay. Well, excuse me, princess. Alright, I'm going to the video here, and we'll keep streaming, but I'm cutting the video here. Stop recording.